Hey, I think it'll work. Of course. It's a cinch. You know, it may be crazy, but we're going to do it. The Dooming Cavalier is now a musical. Hot dog. Hallelujah. Yippee. Fellas, I feel this is my lucky day, March 23rd. Oh, no, your lucky day is the 24th. What do you mean the 24th? It's 1.30 already. It's morning. Yes, and what a lovely morning. Good morning. Good morning. We've talked the whole night through. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning. Good morning to you. When the band began to play, the stars were shining bright. Now the milkman's on his way. It's too late to say good night. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sunbeams will soon smile through. Good morning. Good morning to you and you and you. Good morning, we've gabbed the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. Nothing could be grander than to be in Louisiana in, in the, the morning. morning. In the morning, it's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to Might you. Might be just as iffy if we was in Mississippi. When we left the movie show, the future wasn't bright. But came the dawn, the show goes on, and I don't want to say good night. Don't say good morning. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, 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 bass. bass. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't no sign. Okay, so all about that bass, all right? It's very important that we know which shape of the prism is the bass, okay? So important that we know which one's the bass. True or false? Give me a green check for true and a red X for false. The base is always the bottom. Okay, 
This one is false. The base is not always at the bottom. Okay? If you look at these triangles here, here the base is at the bottom, but here the base is on this side and the base is on this side. What it depends on is where your height is. Okay? True or false? The height is always vertical. That one's false too. Okay, look at this one. This is showing your height over here and it's slanted. Your height goes from the base to the top of your figure. Okay, now what your height does is it always makes a right angle with your base, but it may not always be going straight up. This guy right here, Okay, on this figure, on this one, the first one, where's his base at? What is he standing on? Where's the bottom of him? Good. Here's his base, all right? When he's leaning, his base is still here. When he's, um, what is that, horizontal, there we go, his base is over here on the side, all right? So it doesn't matter which way our shape is laying. Our shape could be sitting on the base or it could be sitting on its side, but does each figure have the same height? Yes. So, um, you know, we talked about the base of the figures that they, um, it's whatever you have two of, right? Well, if that's confusing to you, find the height of your prism first. Because the height of your prism connects the bases to each other. Like on this triangular prism, our base is these triangles, but the height of your prism is always going to connect your bases. In pyramids, the height connects the base to the vertex. So there's your height on your pyramid. It goes from the base to the vertex, straight up, base to the vertex, all right? What about if it's slanted? Is that your height or your altitude of your prism? If it's slanted, that's your slant height. Okay, so we have the height goes straight up from the base to the vertex. The slant height is at an angle, and in your formulas, the slant height is, a, is an L. Okay, keep in mind, you have lateral edges and lateral faces. What does lateral mean? Not angled. Think back. What does lateral mean? If you throw a lateral pass in football, which way is it going to go?
side. Lateral is side. Okay? On your sides, your lateral edges and your lateral faces are everything that's on the sides of your prism. Your base is what connects your height. All right, your vertices are the corners. You have base edges and you have lateral edges. Stoke, questions on what's the base? Okay. So, on this hexagonal prism, point to the base or put in the chat box what color is the base. Good. Yes, my base is green. Very, very good. It's the hexagon here. Okay, perfect. All right. What about this triangular prism? Where's our base on the triangular prism? The triangle, perfect. Here is the height of our prism. Here's the base. Very, very good. Last but not least, the cylinder. Where is the base on our cylinder? circle. Perfect. And our height of the cylinder connects our two bases. Very, very good. Okay. Any questions on bases, how to find the base? Um, is it helpful thinking of the base in terms of the height of the prism, where the height of the prism is, as opposed to what you have two of? Are we good? Okie dokie. Okay. Okay, so lean on me, all right? Lean. That's your slant height. When you're leaning on someone, you're usually slanted towards them. The leaning side is the slant height, all right? I want you to put in the chat box, what is my altitude of this cone? What is my altitude? Remember that altitude is the same as your height of the cone. 
it goes straight up from the base and it joins your base to your vertex. What is my altitude? I want you to recall to me what is the altitude. Good. Altitude is the 8.7. Your altitude connects the base to the vertex. I need everyone to put that in the chat box. Altitude connects base to the vertex. Your altitude is straight up. Good. Altitude is straight up. It connects the base to the vertex. So in this case, our altitude is the 8.7. All right. What's my slant height? Where on my cone is it leaning? Is it slanted? What's my slant height? Good. My slant height is the 10. And whenever you look at your formula, what letter represents your slant height? Good, that L. Everyone needs to put that in the chat box. Slant height in formulas is represented by L. Slant height in formulas is represented by L. Very, very good. Perfect. Okay. What's my radius? Where's the radius on my cone? My radius is five. Awesome, great job. Okay. Your radius is on a circle and it goes from the center to the edge of your circle. Radius goes from center of circle to a point on the circle or the edge of the circle. All righty, so any questions about those parts? Okay, just keep in mind, slant, lean, add an angle, it's slanted. All righty. Okay. Okay, build me up, kind of like fill me up, all right? Fill me up volume. It goes all on the inside of your shape. I want you to find 
the volume of your pyramid. Okay? Um, they tell us that the perimeter of the square base is 24 and the height is 6. So find the volume of your pyramid. Go. I'll give you about two minutes. All right, perfect. You should have gotten 72 for the volume of your pyramid. Okay, they tell us that the perimeter of the base is 24. That would be a capital P equals 24. But we want a capital B. We want the area of our base. So first, we have to start off by finding the side length of each side of our base. Well, since we know it's a square, that's what these tick marks mean, is that both sides are equal, so it's a square. Our perimeter is 24, so I'm going to divide that by 4 because I have four sides, and it tells me that each side is 6. So to find the area of the base, you do side times side, so 6 times 6, that gives me 36. They also tell us the height of our pyramid is 6, so I plug in 6 for the height. Um, I now have 1 third times 36 times 6. 36 times 6 gives me 216. I divide that by 3, and I get 72. Questions? Give me a green check if you're ready to move on, or a red X if you're confused. Perfect. Okay, if you're giving me a red X, I need you to tell me where you're confused at. Okay, so um, I have some questions about the area of the base. We found that each side length of our base is 6. And it's a 
square. So find an area of a square, you do side times side. And in this case, it would be 6 times 6. And that's how I got my capital B. For right there. Then they tell me my height is 6, so then I plugged in 6 for the height. It says the perimeter of the base is 24. So if you add up all of the sides, you get 24. But it wants the area of the base. Okay, perfect. All right. Let's go to the next one. Okay, the formula for finding the surface area of our prism is capital P times H plus 2 times capital B. Capital P is the perimeter of your base, so you're going to add up all the sides of your base. You have 5 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7. Add those up. Check my math. Did you get 24 like I did? Okay, perfect. Then we're also going to have to have capital B, the area of our base. Area of the base is length times width. So 5 times 7 and I got 35. Did you get the same thing? Okay, perfect. So where there's a capital P, I'm going to put in 24. The height. What's the height of my prism? The 3. Good. plus 2 times the capital B, which is 35. 
All righty. What's 24 times 3? 72. Good. Plus 2 times 35. What's 2 times 35? 70. Very, very good. And 72 plus 70? 142. Awesome. And that's going to be centimeters what? What is it for surface area? Squared. Surface area is squared. Volume is cubed. Very, very good. Question. Okay, now I want you to find the surface area of this pyramid. Go. And if you have questions, put them in the chat box. Sorry, I forgot to put the slant height on there. Your slant height is two. Okay, so um, we can find the slant height because we know the height of our pyramid is six. And the length of one side is also six because the perimeter of our base is um, 24. So halfway would be three. So we have this triangle and we can find our slant height. Okay, for finding that, you're gonna do the square root of A squared plus B squared. Okay, so what did you get for the slant height? Okay, I'm going to do the square root of 6 squared plus 3 squared. And my slant height is 6.71. plus the area of my base, which is going to be 6 times 6. 
All right, and I'm going to put all of that in the calculator. So I have one half times 24 times 6.71 plus what I had on the other side, which is 6 times 6. And I get 116.52 questions. The measurement on this one would be unit squared. If they don't tell you like it's centimeters or inches or whatever, it's just units. Good question. Any other questions? Okay, here is another volume one. What's my formula for volume of a cone? The one third capital B H. Good. Since we've done the volume of this one, let's do the surface area of it. What's the formula for surface area of a cone? We have pi r l plus pi r squared. So we're going to do pi. Let's do one where we have our exact answer and one where we have our approximate answer. So pi times my radius with my radius. Five, good. And my slant height. Ten, perfect. Plus pi times my radius squared. So what you're gonna put your put in your calculator is everything but pi. So you're gonna do five times ten plus this five squared. So I have 5 times 10 plus 5 squared. And I get 75. So I have 75 and then the pi. So that's your exact answer. 
that's what you're going to do whenever you have pi in your answer choices. Now, if you don't have pi in your answer choices, then multiply that 75 times pi. So I'm going to take 75, multiply it by pi for 235.62. And this is for surface area. We did the volume on a different page. We did the volume of this problem earlier today. All righty. Questions? Okay. Okie dokie. So, kind of a little play on words. Instead of summertime, I want you to summarize. Okay? Um, what information do you think is going to be most important for you to remember on your test? I'm going to open up the chat, open up the board, and I want you to put what are some of the things that you need to really remember on your test, and you can put them on the board or in the chat box. The formulas. Yes, it is going to be so important that you remember those formulas. Now then, you can use your, um, your flow chart or your formula card on the test. Okay? You can use your notes on the test. It doesn't all have to be memorized. There's the flow chart again. Um, look at the, like, all the different parts on the flow chart and compare it to your picture, okay? What else do you think is going to be really important for you to pay attention to on your um, test? The pi answers, yes, 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 yes. Pay attention to if you have pi in your answer choices. Good. What else? What do you need to pay attention to for your slant height? The slant height leans. Good. Exact and approximate answers. Perfect. Very, very good. Okay. Are there any questions? Okie dokie.
rid of the elevator. That's all, folks. <laughs> Okay, I hope that you enjoyed today. I tried to make it break up the monotonous of it with some music here and there. Um, save the slides. Yes, very good. Save the slides. Thank you for coming, and good luck on your test. Bye, guys.